Long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery our story begins later in Wancroft a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- uh! Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! <laughs> hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run!
Come on, let's get out of here. Random rules! Random rules! That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dance. Which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their noses, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy. Yes, George, that today, her representative, he... Even, Odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad, I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute! Make a wish! <sighs> and the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed a portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said, a painting of Aunt Cordelia, an image of great, 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 an image of great, great grandfather, an image of great, great, an image of great, an image of great, an image of great, great grandfather, even's mother had always painted and odd shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but these paintings showed stories Evan's mother told her were safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the card makers of Five Town, the scariest painting Evan's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure. stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, sweet summer mud cake. I miss her too, child. But she. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. Wait up, please! Wait up! This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her. And that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Oh shucks. I'm all out of potatoes. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, and you couldn't hit the spot. Me. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, it's just- At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean! Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. 
I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... You meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Ah, oh, that's mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. <gasps> She knew this was, if not goodbye, then at least so long. And even knew if she hesitated, if she woke her parents and spoke to them directly, she'd never go. And so she left, without knocking. Even again considered knocking, and again told herself she couldn't risk it, she left without knocking. You seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall? She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. And I think you should give up on her, even. She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that. <gasps> there. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. You can't be here, little girl. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Why, I'd walk you home myself if I wasn't so busy guarding this. Now run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. Uh, the, the loading of junk onto boot. All day long, and all year long, and all life long, there's only one thing that happens here. Junk. Sorry, that's classified. Uh, top secret. Very royal. 
Ah, the very idea that the queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me, a random one or security guard. No, 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 no. No, I assure you, I definitely know all the good stuff. I'm uh, just not willing to share them. Ha! Ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should entrust the Queen's state secrets, which I assure you I'm definitely privy to, with you. Now run along home. It's past your bedtime. spirit wanted it seemed to involve bringing even here but why random rules even random From home and all alone. You're lucky. You've heard the good news, haven't you? The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her because you know a rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me. Up riding a shining spider stallion. You can't escape it, you know. No one can. It's all perfectly designed. I'd love. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seem to have been broken by her in Exceptional. one way or another. Must be so but it was home, to be so the only home even had ever so known. Two-sided. Strange figure even knew that her the fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time.
even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself? Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen. She distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now.
no, no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Now, go away. Who am I? Who are you barging in here demanding who I am? Oh, I'm even too. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber might mean something that's delightful. Like my room here. I. I. Wow. Oh, you really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go. There are no. Well, come on. There's gotta be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... Uh, fine, fine, you little, little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. She'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Art was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. <laughs> 